we're going to read Runt chapter 20. I wonder if Biter comes back or if he's now gone from the pack forever. I don't know. The night was long beyond imagining. King made himself a bed at one edge of the clearing, and all the pack circled him licking his wounds, murmuring reassurance and respect. All except Biter, of course, whose absence no one mentioned. Runt tried once to approach his father, to reach him to nudge his chin in a way a young son should, but Leader pushed past him, and the black pup withdrew, returning to his accustomed place beneath the maple. He lay there, his chin resting on his paws, watching. Lying in the dark, though, he could not rid himself of the memory of Biter, bloody and defeated, slinking away into the forest. The white wolf was being tended by no one. Would he, Runt, be a Biter one day, too? Would there ever be a true place for him in this or any pack? Morning had come before King's bleeding finally stopped. When the sky had gone from pewter to a pale rose, the black wolf gathered strength to rise stiffly and move off to the stream for a drink of water. The pack let out a collective sigh. Their leader would survive. If King survived, they would continue to be who they were meant to be, a family, each single wolf grown stronger for its connection with the others. With King wounded and Biter gone, with Silver and Hunter both still injured and the pups too young yet to be much help on the hunt, the pack faced certain hunger. They had survived hunger before, of course. Wolves are often required to survive hunger. But this time winter was coming on, and the pack was badly depleted. This hunger was going to be serious. Runt lay at the edge of the clearing, gazing at his family, loving them all. His gentle mother, hunter, leader, runner, sniffer, king, so proud, so strong. But even looking at them, one after another, he couldn't stop thinking of Biter and the meat that waited so close at hand. Meat that would bring back his father's strength, the pack strength, except that king would never accept it. That great beast spider had brought down was feeding the white wolf, restoring him, perhaps even encouraging him to return to battle. The meat that that the meat would feed other creatures of the forest too, even Raven, but not King or his family. Runt knew his father was wrong. It was possible for his father to be wrong. Humans were good, kind. Runt knew this for a fact. The meat of their beasts was good, too, and what easy to get. Very easy. But if his father wouldn't listen to him, and what father, after all, would listen to a pup he had named Runt, then there was no way to save him or anyone else in his family. All that was left for Runt to do was save himself. That is the end of 20.